Alleged serial killer Bruce MacArthur has sent shockwaves throughout the GTA, but we're learning he has ties beyond Toronto, including right here in Fenelon Falls, a community northeast of Toronto in the city of Kawartha Lakes, where MacArthur went to school. I went to high school with him, and he was always one year ahead of me in high school. He was very good looking. He was um, not an introvert or anything. He was outgoing, and he was always involved in athletics. He was on the Harrier team, he was on the cross country team, and he even represented our uh, local high school at a CASA meet. I only remember him as being just an everyday, normal guy. It's a hard pill to swallow for some residents in Fenelon Falls that an alleged serial killer arrested last month by Toronto police has ties to their community. Fenelon Falls is made up of nearly 2,000 residents. In the late 60s and early 70s, MacArthur was a student at Fenelon Falls Secondary School. These yearbook photos obtained by City News show a smiling teen who many residents describe as normal and somewhat popular. Though he attended this school, many residents we spoke with today said MacArthur commuted from another neighboring community, Woodville. I was absolutely shocked. The 66-year-old landscaper was charged in the deaths of Salim Essen and Andrew Kinsman, two men who disappeared from the village in 2017. Then this Monday, police announced MacArthur is now facing three more counts of murder in the deaths of Majid Kahan, Sarush Mahmoudi and Dean Lesowick. Police also confirmed human remains were found in planters at a home in Leaside where MacArthur was doing landscaping work. It's not entirely known when MacArthur left the city of Kawartha Lakes, but residents we spoke with today say they hope Fenland Falls won't get tainted by the ties to an alleged serial killer. That's a pretty poor reason for it to become famous. Mm -hmm. It's famous for a lot of good reasons, and that's certainly not one of them. And I think it's important that people realize that that this is just a very unfortunate situation and, and not reflected on the nature of our school system here or the people that live in this uh, village. And we did speak with school officials here at Fenelon Falls Secondary School. They tell us they did not want to comment. For City News, I'm Faiz Amin.